the okay. pleasure. Let's quickly take a look at our first topic uh, for discussion where the NJC has a set up a privy panel to investigate the three high court judges who issued conflicting ex parte orders. According to the NJC, the judges have to show a cause why disciplinary actions should not be taken against them uh, for their actions. An investigative committee uh, was set up by the council under the chairmanship of the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Honorable Justice Tanko Muhammad, at its uh, 95th meeting held on September 15 and 16 in line with the principles of fair hearing. Uh, Justice Muhammad, who expressed the displeasure over the development, had threatened, without mentioning names, that the three of the judges who issued the controversial orders will be made scapegoats. Last week, uh, Justice Muhammad held a marathon meeting with the six chief judges in the affected jurisdictions of Rivers, Kebi, Cross River, Jigawa, Anambra, and Imo over the conflicting ex parte orders. He warned that the judiciary would no longer condone uh, discipline, indiscipline rather, or allow any judge to tarnish the image of the uh, judiciary. Uh, le let's start with you. Hmm. What do you make of uh, all this? Well, uh, honestly speaking, let me start by commenting very briefly mm -hmm. on what the CGN was uh, alleged to have uh, said, that the judges will be made to scapegoat. Uh, that ordinarily ought not to have come from the CGN. Uh, he has already, I mean, the case is already prejudiced. Mm -hmm. And prejudiced when, um, without hearing from the other party, already uh, 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 reaching some conclusions and um, making an uh, indictment. Uh, to that extent, that could even be a leeway for these judges to escape a sanction if at the end of the day they are even culpable or they are found to be culpable for issuing them. Uh, this is partisan, yeah, exactly, exactly. The other one is, um, it's a very, very complex matter. Uh, challenging or holding a judge um, uh, culpable for issuing uh, an ex parte order. Mm. Uh, why is this so? Elementary principle of law tells us that um, once people approach the court, for one other or the other, and we don't want to encourage anarchy, chaos, and self-help. The court is not expected to shut its door mm. against uh, such uh, parties. To that extent, our judges have always been backward to listen to some of these um, the applications that are brought before them. The other area is that uh, it might look like a conflicting order before we were outsider because we were not part of, uh, of the proceedings. But the pleading before the court was filed, mm. the relief that was sought, mm. and the way and manner in which some of these reliefs were sought, might also have influenced the judges in deciding to issue or to give disorders. Uh, disorders. Mm. And um, the third one is that. Um, is that um, we have no case management policy in this country. It is difficult for a high court, a court of, I mean, a national industrial court just sitting in uh, Lagos to know what the Abuja jurisdiction mm -hmm. is doing, or what orders they have given in respect of one matter or the other. Mm -hmm. Whereas in some other places, some other jurisdiction, all that my law will require to do is to punch the computer mm. and, and then, the yeah, and then uh, some of this information uh, will be available uh, to them. To that extent, I would have preferred that uh, my law, the CGN, allow these people to appear before this, uh, the NJC and for the NJC to look at the representations of the three judges in a very dispassionate manner mm. and then come to some decisions uh, whether in favor or against uh, these judges. But more importantly, too, there is the elementary principle of law that says who goes to equity must go with a clean hand. Yes. Uh, can we say that some of the decisions that we get from the Supreme Court today mm. are comforting? Uh, you look at the case uh, like that of Arnambra, for example, uh, and uh, you are worried. Look at what happened in the EFC, I mean, in the uh, Code of Conduct case uh, yes. with Bukola Salaki and what have you. Mm in which they were just throwing the case up and down. 
at the end of the day it had no head uh, uh, no tail. no tails and also look at the samfara case and, uh, and what have you and uh, a lot of those other cases that you really can look okay a classical example is also even though that is part of this and that happened under another cj look at the mohammed Abacha's case with regard to the assassination of uh, putra tabiola the case against mohammed Abacha was overwhelming mm. but somehow the supreme court gave uh, mohammed Abacha a reprieve and my suspicion is that the panel that was set up to hear Mohamed Abacha's case was composed in such a manner that they would be favorable to letting Mohamed Abacha escape uh, 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 justice. So it's a, we need the whole overhauling of the entire system, not just using these three judges as, as, as a scapegoat. Mm -hmm. And more importantly, too, the, the politicians who go around this court uh, shopping for, 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 for decisions or for judgment and then for orders and what have you. Mm -hmm. What do you do with them when you have made these people um, escape a uh, uh, court? So this is a lot of fundamental issues here and there. Yeah. And even the lawyers who file these applications in court. Mm -hmm. Too many times certain lawyers have been indicted in this country and even the road. And the Supreme Court at the end of the day has gone ahead to reinstate, to reinstate some of those uh, lawyers. Mm. And then the judges, they were led to a bribe and all that. Most of them have been dismissed and then, I mean, and, and, uh, retire. They never call back. So these, these, these okay. are the... We will the, delve you know, into that in detail. Yeah. Well, let, let's say your, mm. your own, your own okay. opinion. My take mm. on it is that mm. you notice that, um, I think last week, um, after the CGNs, uh, anger, explosion, mm. was expressed, uh, particularly in the case of uh, Secundus, PDP's uh, case, mm. wherein, um, just like in the show of case, mm. Secundus had been suspended at his word level. level. Mm. You understand? So for that reason, there's a precedent already. So by the time the court in um, Rivers confirmed that he was no longer the chairman of that party, you know, running to Kirby, was totally needless. Mm. And that judge should have known that he shouldn't have granted another, a counter order reinstating secondus. But, but, but what if secondus but, but, but I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming. You, know, you, see, good, uh, you, see, uh, you know what you see? In law, mm. law must be certain. Yeah, well. It must be certain. If the law is not certain, you understand? Eh? Uh, people will not be, they will not have faith in the judiciary. Not to an extent, but certain. That's why we have one starry decisis. You know, we stand by the precedent, what has gone before. You understand? Mm -hmm. Bible says, do not shift the ancient landmarks. You know, we have different areas of law. For example, when we talk about contract, every lawyer knows the elements of a valid contract. Mm -hmm. So any judge or law teacher, any person that tries to vary this anyhow is going to be challenged. Now, but, but I also know that they, they are usually some yeah, you see, look cases to some of differ. these things. I'm coming, you see, I agree with you that cases differ. Mm. So, for that reason, we may look for loopholes. But in searching for loopholes, you see, your integrity as a judge and it's as a lawyer, a you know, is at stake. Because mm. people are watching you. Now, you see, some on the second case, another party set of people went to justice ringing in federal high court in Lagos. You know what Justice Lingim did? Hmm. You look at the application. One, there was no urgency in the matter. In the matter. Hmm. And he also brought it during vacation. You understand? But because of that pronouncement of the CJN, he has woken up to his duty. But let it be said on record that these judges involved here, they have been clearly and manifestly compromised. Hmm. You understand? You see, the history of Nigeria shows that some judges are compromised. You recall Justice Ipeme in the Abiola case. There was a decree 34 that said that no court should look into the matter regarding that 1993 election. It's a decree. Hmm. But this judge went ahead, you understand, to, restrain, to, to grant an ex party order, restrain the conduct. But today, that judge, wherever he is, his name is mentioned, his name is ignored, you understand? So because whatever we do, 
history will judge us. Mm. Look, when did the case of um, Oshio Mwene happen? Oshio Mwene's case happened quite recently. You understand? He, he, the man was suspended in his ward. You understand? So somebody went to Kano. Kano Federal Court. No, they went to Abuja. I think Abuja confirmed it. There are another set of people who went to Kano. You understand? So the thing is that this set of judges are undermining our democracy. Mm. And this democracy was not given to us on a platter of gold. Mm. People died before the democratic uh, institution was reinstated back to this country mm. in 1999. Now, okay. So th th these are fundamental issues that we should not play with at all. Now, and those judges, like my name, uh, brother has said, mm. the lawyers involved certainly ought to be punished. If you recall that, I think in the case of um, the governor of Imo State, mm. those of them talk to SA and went back to the Supreme Court, mm. that the Supreme Court should review that case. You understand? Mm. They were fined, I think, 30, 30 million naira yeah, yeah. each. Mm. You understand? Mm. So we need more of that. You see, these, most of the people committing this uh, stupidity or misconduct, I don't want to use the word crime, eh, with some mischievous judges, are mostly this privileged class of lawyers. The SAN, you understand? They are abusing their privilege, and it's not good for the profession. Okay, now let's start with some of the issues that may most likely cause some of these judges to issue conflicting results. But let, let's use your uh, last couple of statements as you know a uh, uh, case in point. Uh, uh, judges undermining democracy. Now. Don't you think we're, 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 we're uh, 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 being too harsh on the judges, especially with the fact that every strata of our society today is undermining democracy? Mm. The, the judges are one arm exactly. of mm. democracy, mm. where we have the executive and the legislature constantly. Mm undermining democracy. So why are we holding the judiciary mm. to a mm. different standard mm. from the other two arms mm. of, you know, uh, 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 democracy, of well, government? Um, Is it why? That's a, a, a beautiful, um, it's a really beautiful question. Mm. Just like you said, um, we have uh, three arms of government. Mm. As a judiciary. And, and the whole system tends to be corrupt. Exactly, exactly. Uh, so why shouldn't the judges have their wish of the national and cake? Apart from even those three arms of government that we have said, yeah, it is individual that go to corrupt judges. Mm. I mean, litigants, um, whether they be politicians, whether they be businessmen, uh, what have you. Uh, the truth of the matter is that um, when a nation is corrupt, there is hardly, it's very, very difficult, because if not impossible, for you to really extricate any branch or any arm mm. or any class in or that point society. The fingers or as a particular exactly person. Or group. Particular, um, uh, person. But where the case of the judges become more uh, serious is that um, you and I will know everybody would uh, take some oath. When exactly. You are uh, this one, the doctor will take the hypocrite. Yeah, the code. judge will uh, yes. uh, swear that he will do Uphold justice the constitution. exactly mm. to all manners of people without fear or favor, and he will not allow himself to be compromised uh, elsewhere ever and all that. So, to that extent, uh, if you uh, have um, uh, made such uh, swear to such an oath and what have you, one will respect the best of standard. The place of conduct. The governors uh, and the, le the an legislature also and, uh, swear mm. oaths. Mm. I agree. The truth of the matter is, like, like you said, um, judges are also women. Mm. Look at what my lord, the chief, I mean, uh, the president, uh, is it the court of appeal, yeah. said uh, recently that they have been on a salary of 229,000 yes. for almost uh, 10 years. Yes, or they need about. better pay. Yeah. Uh, uh, and they while, while, the, while the executive and uh -huh. legislators go home and, and uh, go. And uh, my Lord has gone to the president, to me, to the, even taking it to the public, begging yes, the it's in the public, government yes, it's in the to paper. review the payments of, um, of, uh, of uh, judges. You and I know they have family, they have children in school. Inflation doesn't spare them at all. 
and, and, and let, let, let's not talk about the way the, the society plays them high. Exactly. A lot of exactly. branches of people and will be looking They can also them. not do any other any business other at that time. besides uh, uh, mm. that uh, particular. Issues. So to that extent, Nora, it makes them more vulnerable too mm. to being uh, compromised, when, especially when political cases when come from politicians who mm. uh, have the kind of resources that, they that the Nigerian politicians uh, mm. do uh, have. And then the way our manager judges are appointed to, I think, has to do. In spite of all Most the challenges. Also, it's also political. Exactly, in spite of all the challenges and all that. We are seeing people like Honorable Ginotu, who said, look, if the executive will not obey my orders and all that, I have no business remaining as a judge and all that. Mm. And the, my Lord went and put in a letter of resignation and they, and they left the place. Uh, the decision. In the Sunday the worst case, and also the one coming with respect to VAT mm. from River State and other, they are very, very courageous decisions that you hardly will find uh, most no, judges make, uh, make uh, in order. So this tells us that um, there are majority of them, to say the truth, are very upright, decent people. Mm. But that is not to say that there are not a few mm. who, because of some of the challenges that we mm. have mentioned, mm. might not make themselves available mm. uh -huh, to, to, to bring compromise. But my take would have been that we should focus more on the politicians who are discriminating, who are engaging in all this uh, abuse of the court processes. And until you have dealt with them, it will be difficult for, for, for you exactly. I mean, to, to, to go after these uh, judges. Mm. I do agree that uh, both the person who gives a bribe and then the person that takes, they are equally culpable. Uh, culpable. But most times, it is not the judges who initiate that give me bribe before I give you this favorable judgment mm. and all that. Certain litigants, certain lawyers who first make the approaches, or certain highly placed person in the society, mostly people who are instrumental. To some of these judges being appointed, I mean, to some of these judges being, being appointed, appointed, are used. They even use the relation of some of these judges. He's from this social -so place and all that. I know he's a uncle. Get somebody to go and talk to the uncle, and mm -hmm. then the uncle will go and talk to And if it was the uncle that sponsored the judge in school, uh, paid the school fees and whatever, the judge might find it difficult to really uh, say no okay. to that kind of thing. So, the whole society must stand up for the kind of judiciary mm -hmm. that they really want to see in this country so uh, you basically mm. just talk about uh, uh, judicial autonomy yeah, exactly. uh, which is yeah. one of the points you know mm. i have how influential mm. is this judicial autonomy to what's happening you know in, in terms of mm. judges issuing orders and influence the court as it were um you see uh, i know of a judge he's now in the court of appeal mm. i had the privilege of meeting him not within the court premises mm. he handled a very very uh, popular case and pressure was bared upon him from several quarters. They even tried to use a family member mm. to influence him. Mm. But that judge is still very much available at the Court of Appeal. Mm. He's a very, very courageous and bold person. Mm. You see, courage. But, but, but you, I'm coming. But I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm, no, no. <laughs> I can hold it to everyone. Mm. You see, um, the judicial office is even higher than the office of a lawyer. You understand? Definitely. The judge that sits at that table is mimicking God. You understand? But not the lawyer no, that I'm, is I'm, working I'm for coming. a highly placed I'm coming. Uh, I'm coming. Uh, that judge actually is standing there in the place of God. That's why called my Lord. Mm. You understand? Mm. He has control. He has authority. A judge must be courageous and fearless. Is a is a look. It's a sine qua non for him to be a judge. Go to Lagos High Court. He both said that was born. You see two lions there. A judge must be courageous. Now you know what that judge did. He did not. He told them. He told us what he told them that they may discuss anything with him under the sun, hmm. but they should not discuss his job with him. Today has been ele elevated to the court of appeal. Hmm. You understand? So those judges owe us a duty that oath of office that they swore to they must uphold it you see we have had judges in these countries you understand we are not reinventing the wheel we have had the likes of okuta we have had the likes of kaudia shop 
You understand? So we have we have president too. So we have judges. So so the okay. issue of judicial autonomy, uh, the issue of judicial autonomy, the may has nothing to do with what we are talking about. You see, whether judiciary has autonomy financially or otherwise, mm. the judge that has been appointed, you understand, and that has swore to an oath. Okay, now let, let you see, it's so, indebted so, to us. So, it's so, indebted to the to sorry, the sorry to court you. Let, let, let's bring a scenario here, which, which, which mm. I think is part of judicial autonomy. Mm. Uh, in, a, in a case like Zanfara, yes. You know, a, a Gombe rather, sorry. In a case like Gombe, where uh, they've had a serious uh, judicial tussle uh, with the executive governor, where the governor wants a certain person uh, yes. to be the chief judge of that state instead of uh, the conventional way where the highest uh, uh, level senior, yeah. person yeah. is supposed to be in his, you know. And this is, now, it, 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 that, your scenario will happen if uh, uh, under all negative circumstances the original woman that is supposed to be the chief judge becomes the chief judge she'll be fearless because you know on that uh, 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 irrespective of all this opposition she became a chief judge but in a situation where the governor have his way and his man becomes the chief judge how do you expect fair hearing in that situation i'm sure that is an, another example of judicial autonomy mm -hmm, mm -hmm. independence yes mm -hmm. okay. where, 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 where there are no external influence you, to you, the appointment you, of that chief judge. is on the issue of appointment you see that has political coloration mm -hmm. you understand mm -hmm. that's happened elsewhere too it has well, that's what happened with see, most of these judges you see most uh, of them get to their office under political influence yes. mm -hmm. thereafter Thereafter, what is your duty as a judge? You understand? But how far can you go with no, 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 you see, uh, when, when you're no, tied to the duty, the, 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 listen, listen, let's get it clear. Okay. You understand? We can't set two standards. You understand? There must be standard. You know, there must be a standard recognized internationally Definitely. that must be followed. Definitely. There may be deviations at times. You understand? Exceptions. But exceptions don't make the rule. You understand? Exceptions remain exceptions. Let's stick with the rule. So you understand? So in other words, you, in other words, you're in your opinion that uh, uh, a judge um, in a position influenced by politics can still make the right decision irrespective, he, he can irrespective look, look, of the look, influence. Look, look, look. You see, if I'm a judge and a file is given to me, I've appeared before a magistrate in this Lagos. The man is not a senior magistrate. You know what he told me? He said, I can't undo this matter. It's a matter involving one boy in Unilag who stole a laptop. He said, I'm his uncle. <laughs> so I can't undo the matter. Mm. He, he gave back the, the file to the, I think, to the chief magistrate or whatever. And then he assigned it to another person. But that's different. No, 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 no. That's different. No, no. From it's, it's, it's still, no, no. What, what you are talking about is still influence. You understand? Yeah. This conflict of interest. Somebody has appointed me now. Which is a as a judge. Maybe, maybe, somebody has appointed me as a judge. Okay. Maybe the governor has the hand in my appointment as a judge. Mm. Now there's a matter involving that state. You know, and they say, okay, give it to him. I know that uh, you know he knows what to do. I have the right to say, my lord, for so so and so and so reason. You understand? Mm -hmm. I may be idealistic, but if you don't have standards, this country will continue. May I interject? I, okay. I agree with you, but you see, in our kind of environment, uh, it's is it very difficult I'm talking for about judges here. to assert themselves? Yeah, it's extremely difficult. What, take for example a place like the U.S. Most of the judges that uh, Donald Trump appointed, when he took all those seventy-something cases to court and mm. all, mm. they all uh, ruled against them. Mm. They ruled against them simply because the institution over there. Is different. It's different. They have a they, certain ex exactly hmm. such that nobody can persecute any of those judges. Yes, if for one reason or the other. I mean, yes. for the rulings and decisions that they have given. Hmm. But we are finding instances in this country in which judges will give decisions or rulings against the DSS. And the and DSS, DSS will, will not will comply. comply. They, they will hmm. not, they no, 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 they will not, they will not, not comply. Yes. Not only that they will not comply, they will go even after the judge. Go after and the judge. Go after the judges. No, no. And no, you that, see, that, uh, how many judges in Nigeria 
have been sacked or removed because they gave one decision or the other. No, if it's sacked or removed, the, 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 the example of the U.S. that you gave mm. is that the um, the the job of a judge in the U.S. it has a um, statutory flavor. You understand? You can is when they become so, mentally so and so incapable. Yeah. Mm. You understand? That's when a judge in the U.S. can retire. You understand? Mm -hmm. SMB pass due to age. So you see, the Nigerian situation is not as bad as we are painting it. Okay. We most of our judges are people of integrity. You understand? Okay. If they are not people of integrity, we won't have these courts. Nigeria is still studying today because the courts are essentially performing. You understand? So we are talking about aberrations. These situations are exceptions. That's why I see it. When I go to court anytime, I have confidence in the judge, except one lady. A judge. <laughs> she went beyond a call of the <laughs> lady. And she, no. and she could have really destroyed her career. Now, no, because of that, mm. let's go. But don't forget that uh, even the executive of government, they have a will of I'm stringing the judiciary. The the of yes. Mm. Yes. Once well, they yeah, know yeah, that yeah. Uh, these people are not related to the same yeah. and all that, like the example of the state UK, mm. if the woman who is insisting that I'm the one who is supposed to do the city eventually gets to that position and all that, the executive of government can do well, that. Yes. Yeah. The have staff exactly. and cripple the court system over mm. there. Mm. So yeah. these are some of the areas you see that our judges say, look, we, we, the we, we, why, why the judicial so economy so look, cannot we have to, Exactly, that mm. we have to apply wisdom. Mm. We know what the law is mm. and what we should do. But when the kind of people that we are dealing with, mm. we would rather apply wisdom than bring down the entire house. Over, I mean, uh, over people say. Uh, now, now, mm. now let, let, let's take a look at the constitution now. Now, um, we've had a, a conflicting argument for and against the constitution where uh, some, some legal practitioners come out to say our constitution needs serious overhaul. And we, we have some other people at the other side of the divide where they say the constitution is bad, but not that bad. The people are the worst, the people handling the constitution. Mm. So is there a, a case here where it is because of the constitution where these judges have can issue conflicting orders? Because the, the, the lawyers that come uh, uh, before these judges have been able to manipulate the many loopholes of the constitution where these judges have no choice but to issue these conflicting orders, orders in the favor of the parties involved. Mm. See, w when it comes to the power of court to preside over a matter or to hear a case, it's a well uh, spelled out in the constitution. Mm. The law mm. setting up the court usually confer a jurisdiction, whatever power it had to hear a case. There's also the territory in which a court sees territorial, we call it territorial jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. The subject matter and the parties involved in the case all define the kind of cases that could uh, be had um, between one court, uh, I mean, by one court uh, or the other. So I wouldn't think that there is a much um, a lacuna or confusion mm -hmm. or uh, lack of. Uh, proper delineation of the powers of this court we have experienced the kind of thing that we have experienced today. The truth of the matter is that um, no matter how perfect the law is, people will always want to find a way around it, especially if they can go scot free. Mm. People do some of these things because at the end of the day they know nothing will happen to it. Let me give you an, 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 an hypothetical example, even though this has not gone to court. First of all, was advising his party the other day, he said, look, in view of the ruling coming from this court on this matter, that our chairman cannot be holding to executive position at the same time and all that. What has been his party reaction? They shouted him down and asked him to shut up his mouth, simply because, look, those party members or the big wigs in the party mm. are winning on impunity. They think that they will have a way, even when such situation arises, they will have a way to, they will have, have, to they, find a way. Have yeah, exactly. Friends, oh, friends. On these things. Because they appointed most of these judges, they know how to reach them and whatever. Whereas in an ID, managed to have been better 
for the party to listen to what will be on the safe side for the party to listen to what Professor Skiyama has said with regards to this uh, one governor being executive chairman of um, of the party as well. So, but they never follow those things because our people are winning on the public, especially politicians. And with the kind of money that they have in their hands, and the kind of hunger that we have, whether on the bench, in the bar, and what have you, some judges will even damn the consequence. Come, give a judge about $5 million or pound sterling. He will weigh his retirement benefits and all the parkour side compared to the five million <laughs> a dollar that has been making jobs. Exactly. So, 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 what the hell? That what going to be my benefit? Even if I give a, a ruling in line with the oath that I've sought to, and then when I retire, I'm hungry. Nobody remembers me. Where I might be languishing in uh, in uh, poverty. So these are some of the fundamental issues. My take would have been that. Um, in as much as possible that we can identify the sources of some of these uh, where these problems are coming from which is basically mostly on political cases it's and cases dealing with politicians essentially why it's can't we go after those politicians instead of the judges instead of judges no 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 <laughs> they, and are, they are complicit if we and if we go after the judges too we can also go after the judges because two, it takes two to tango. To tango, yes. If you also go after the judges and other, but I would want to think that our attention should even be primarily on, on the politicians. politicians because so long as they have the kind of money they have, there is hardly any system, any institution that they will not be able to, 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 to. The question to now, compromise. the question mm. is, who will go after the politician? Is it their fellow politicians? <laughs> because <laughs> that is the target. The EFCC should be able to go after them. The ICPC should be able to go after them. The, um, the police will be able to go after them. But all these institutions are also very rotten.